the rover type vehicle, the Curiosity, was launched on November 26, 2011, and successfully landed on Mars in Gale Crater on August 6, 2012, destined to explore Mars as well as many other missions, such as Mars 2020, at the command of Perseverance, with the primary and fundamental objective of investigating the capacity that the Red Planet has and once had to host life. The Curiosity had an expected duration of one year and ten and a half months, although to this day, ten years later, it is still operational. In all this time, it has traveled much more than 23 kilometers and it has taken dozens of samples of Martian soil and rock dust for analysis. All this with the budget of $2.6 billion for scientific work that involves obtaining a great amount of knowledge, and that in the end leaves us with the doubt that, after so much time, what has been discovered on Mars? Hello, welcome to Amazing Worlds in English, a space of knowledge where you will learn more about the universe that surrounds us, the planets and the stars that are part of it, and of all, our beloved planet Earth. As you know, today we will be explaining what has been discovered on Mars. I invite you, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, to do so and activate the bell to be notified of the next topics that will be released very soon. Once the introduction is done, and with nothing else to add, let's begin. The findings that have been found on Mars so far have given many clues about the chemical or mineral composition, atmosphere, climate, geology, and in general a sketch of the great red planet, with the aim to knowing more about the planet and the possibility of harboring human life. First, Mars is known to be a telluric planet with a thin carbon dioxide atmosphere and it has two small, irregularly shaped satellites, Phobos and Deimos. It shares in certain similarity with the Earth, the period of rotation and the seasonal cycles. From Earth, this planet looked reddish due to the high concentration of iron oxide on its surface. Days and nights last the same as on Earth and spring begins in the northern hemisphere. The duration of the seasons is twice that of the Earth because, approximately, the duration of the Martian year is also two. It is also important to mention that observations have determined that the rotation period of Mars is 24 hours, 37 minutes, 22.7 seconds, very similar to that of Earth. Now, although the coloration of this planet is reddish, or at least from a distant perspective, Mars has large blue tones with green tones. On January 24, 2018, this was discovered by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. This coloration is produced by the accumulations of methane gas together with organic molecules in rocks from more than 3 billion years ago. In addition to that, not only the planet hosts blue dunes, but also sunsets of the same color, whose beautiful images were captured by the curiosity. On the other hand, one of the primary objectives of the study of Mars is to determine the current state of water on the planet, as well as its cycles and distribution. However, it is believed that the cooling of the planet and its weak atmosphere caused it to disappear or turn to ice. On June 19, 2008, at the conclusion of the Phoenix mission, NASA claimed that the probe had found ice near the North Pole of Mars during an excavation. On July 31 of the same year, William Boynton a thermal analyzer scientist at the University of Arizona confirmed its existence. NASA announced that the laboratory test carried out by this mission on Mars confirmed the existence of water. The U.S. agency 
dedicated to exploring space reported that the robotic arm of the Phoenix deposited a sample taken in an instrument in which weather vapors are identified. Other experiments conducted with the Phoenix probe instruments also reveal traces of chemical reactions between minerals in the Martian soil and liquid water in the past. This suggests that in the past, during several periods, liquid water ran through the ground. Other data suggest the presence of calcium carbonate, the main component of limestone rock. It is important to mention that most of the carbonates and clays on Earth are formed in the presence of liquid water. Another piece of evidence was obtained by the gamma ray spectrometer of the Mars Odyssey probe in favor of the existence of large amounts of water on Mars, specifically oceans that covered a third of the planet, which has established coastlines of two ancient oceans. Recent studies through NASA's perseverance have determined that water's reserves exist in a stable solid state on Mars. In parallel, this mission continues to work on the surface of Mars, recognizing an area where a rock bed formed by red-hot magma has been found. This finding is very important to be able to accurately understand some events that occur in the G0 crater. After an in-depth study, experts have determined that the rock has been in contact with water several times, since some components of the magma contain organic molecules. It is important to bear in mind that the current theories that science managed establish that the conditions in which life can be found and maintained require the availability of water in a liquid state which is why its searching is so relevant when studying other planets. A study published in 2015 by NASA concluded that 4.3 billion years ago and for 1.5 billion years, the planet had an extensive ocean in the northern hemisphere with a volume greater than that of the Arctic, enough to cover the entire Martian territory with 130 meters deep, in addition to having a denser and protected atmosphere that could certainly have favored the existence of life. However, the ALH84001 meteorite, which is believed to have come from Mars, is believed also to contain fossilized microorganisms. There is still much to study about our brother planet Mars. There are many questions about our origin as humanity and the universe itself whose answers can sleep under the immense dunes that planet Mars possesses. Let's hope that science advances enough so that these answers awaken in the shortest time necessary, and that, if possible, our current generations can know them. Well, dear YouTube friends, here's today's video. Please do not forget to like, share with your friends this incredible information about what has been discovered on Mars so far, write us in the comment box to let us know your opinions and concerns about the subject in question, and subscribe to learn more about the universe that surrounds us, the planets and the stars that are a part of it, and above all, our beloved planet Earth. Until the next video.